Hi everyone, uh, this is Ashley. Um, this is going to be my first um, trying to conceive after a loss vlog. Um, I have another channel. This is going to be my um, trying to conceive vlog uh, channel. My other channel is about um, my weight loss surgery. I had weight loss surgery. I had specifically lap band with plication um, in October of 2012. Um, so I'm eight months out, I think. Yeah, I think. Um, and in February, I got pregnant. Um, and in April, April 14th, um, I had my DNC. Uh, I was nearly 11 weeks um, when I found out that the baby had passed in, in the ninth week. Um, and on April 14th, I had my DNC. So I'm on cycle day three of um, my second cycle since my um, DNC. Um, I had my first um, period uh, after the procedure almost exactly four weeks. Uh, I think it was like four weeks in one day from. Um, when I had the DNC. Um, so then I had a 27 day cycle. Um, I have some discrepancy on whether it was 27 or 28 because I don't know, I just can't figure it out. I did like, I have a chart and whatever, but I'm a little bit confused and I'm sorry that I'm not very good at this. Um, I have a son. Oops, I'm 26. I have a son. I had a son. My son when I was 23, um, so he is three years old. Um, my husband and I have been married for, it'll be five years this year. Um, and in February, we were not trying um, to conceive. It was um, a surprise and we were so happy. And the main reason for me for having weight loss surgery um, was to be healthy for the son I have but for also to have more children. Uh, and so we're devastated <laughs> that we lost the baby. Um, so let me just show you some things I have. Like I said, I've never, sorry, my son, we didn't try, try to conceive. I went off birth control um, and um, conceived him naturally. Uh, the first month. So we're very um, fortunate that we do get pregnant easily. Um, and with my son, I had no complications. Um, it was very easy pregnancy. Um, and so I'm hoping that won't be too hard for us to get pregnant um, again. Uh, I currently, I charted, I want, well, I knew we were going to start trying to conceive in May, um, before I, like, we're in January, we had decided in May we will start trying to conceive. Um, so I charted my January into February psych the cycle, the month that I got pregnant, um, with my angel baby. Um, so I've charted that month, and then I've just charted the last month, um, to try and get a handle on my body and my cycle and what it's going to look like. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to be a little bit quieter because my son's room is behind this wall. And I sound kind of weird. And I'm sorry. <laughs> um, let me show you what I have. Um, I'm part of a mommy board uh, from my son. Um, and I never told them that I was pregnant. I wanted to kind of keep it in the DL until I was um, past 12 weeks. Um... And so then I told them when I had uh, the loss, and they were so kind to me, they were um, very supportive. Um, but some of them have sent um, some of these ovulation strips, which I'm not really excited about. Um, I mean, it's very nice of them to send them to me. But um, I don't want to like be analyzing strips like this, and I'll probably use them um, along with... Um, I bought this 
off of eBay. Um, I got it for like $25 and that was with shipping. Um, which in the store here will cost $55. So I'm very happy. Um, this we start on day five. So I'm going to start that one this month. And then if we, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to sound conceited and say that we were going to get pregnant this month. So, um, obviously I have tons of these things. So I also have these, um, someone sent me and it has, for some reason there are, she gave me three of these. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Maybe she had a few boxes of them and just put all three of these in here. Um, and there are the strips. I think I counted. There are about 14 of them in here. Um, I bought... She uh, she sent me these ones also. These are the pregnancy strips. The pregnancy test strips. Um, but I also got some of the, the ones like this, but the pregnancy tests. Um in the purple package <laughs> and then lastly she sent me this pre-seed um i'm not sure i'm gonna it's open and she's used it like i mean there's all like they're all individually wrapped so it really doesn't matter um but i don't know if i'm going to use this because maybe maybe i'm wrong but it seems to be you need it for people who generally aren't lubricated enough um, and people who use lubricant um, when they're just generally having sex with their partner um, and TMI, but I don't really need that. Um, so I don't know if we'll use this. Maybe after a few months, I'll, I'll feel like maybe we should. I'm not sure. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I will give you... I might... Hopefully when I get a positive on this, I'll make a video. Um, my cycles... After losing... I've lost a bit over 70 pounds since my surgery. Um, I stopped losing weight... A a month, about two months ago. Um, I think it's just been a bit of depression and emotional eating. Um, so, but once I lost weight after having the surgery, my cycles went to being quite regular. Um, and so hopefully this one will be regular-ish. And um, I'll actually ovulate because um, before I had my surgery I wasn't ovulating. I was have, having very long cycles, 70, 80, 90 day cycles. So um, now they pretty much clear themselves out. Um, so hopefully we'll ovulate the cycle and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll get a chance to try. Okay, bye.